Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are doing a DIY headboard. So for this project you are going to either need a piece of cardboard or plywood measuring what you need. You're going to need fabric, hot glue, a stapler, and hardware to hang it with. Now if you do cardboard it is possible to make it hang with just string and you can use a regular office stapler and you won't uh, yeah and you will need the hot glue for that one as well and you also need any decorative things that you want if you do plywood though you are going to need like a heavy duty stapler you can't use just that and the hot glue probably won't help at all either and I forgot to mention you will also need a tape measure scissors of course and also a box cutter if you're using cardboard or you know a saw or have someone cut down your plywood to the size you need and you'll also need quilt batting and that is just to add some extra depth to your project so let's go ahead and get started I've also included a list of everything you will need so just screenshot it that way you can have it on hand. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is your base. It needs to be cut to size. So either if you're doing plywood, someone either needs to cut it for you or if you have a saw, you can do that yourself. Or if you're doing cardboard, go ahead and just cut it. And then I always like to double check the measurements and everything. And then once your base is ready, it's time to get all of your other materials prepped and ready to go. You are going to want to iron your fabric. Like it's really important. It's tedious and annoying, but it's gonna look a lot nicer if you iron your fabric. Now you're going to want to put your fabric down and you want to make it wrong side up so the pretty side is facing away from you onto your table or your floor. Smooth it out as best you can and then add the batting on top of the fabric. Once you have your fabric and your batting fixed to your liking, you're going to set your base on top of it. And then we can begin to um, adhere it to the back of your base. I'm going to be honest, it took a lot of trial and error here for me to figure out the best way to do this, um, which is great for you guys because now if you watch this video, you don't have to worry about doing that. But what I found works the best is to just pull your fabric tight without, like you want to pull it tight, but you also don't want to get any um, like lumps or anything. So pull it tight, but don't like strain the fabric, if that makes sense. And then just staple through all of your layers. And then once you have everything stapled, we will do the corners. Okay, I found the corners to be actually the hardest part of this project because you don't want any extra bulk. So I would cut the corners straight down, not quite all the way to the cardboard, and then I would fold them in kind of like a paper airplane using the hot glue to help adhere them just long enough so that the staples could help really hold them in. And honestly, I could have really done well using a heavy duty stapler but like I said I didn't have one and once I was already in this project I wasn't I wasn't uh, gonna go out and buy one the corners did work out really well now I'm going to decide 
where I want my decorative pins. And I did end up going seven inches. So there's seven inches between each of the pins. Once you have your pins where you like them, it is time to hot glue them. It just makes it stay in better and more secure. So you just, you know, put some hot glue on it and hold it down. And then once you get all of those done, I actually flipped mine over and then put hot glue on the backs of them. That way they couldn't slide out of the cardboard either. Now, if you're using plywood, obviously you're just gonna pound it in and it'll stay there forever. <laughs> but cardboard is, you know, not as heavy, not as flimsy. But since it's not as heavy, you can actually use yarn to hang this, which is what I tried originally. But again, my stapler just did not do the trick. I needed a heavy duty one in order to adhere the string to the cardboard for it to stay. But here I am, see there's the string on there and it just didn't really work out very well. But I'm measuring it to decide where to put my nails. I ended up putting in three and only used two of them because I did go back and add actual hanging brackets onto the back of my headboard. So that is how I ended up hanging it with the brackets but you still do need to measure to make sure it's even. And now it is ready to hang. So this tutorial just helped you save over $150. Let me know in the comments if you end up making it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.